Okay, so be ready because I want to read the test just once. So I'm going to start. Um, Mr. Portillo, please, would you like to help me to read? When I said stop, I'm going to choose a second student. Thank you, Mr. Go ahead. Of course. Moods are closely related to butterflies. They are not studied as often because... Just give me a moment, please. As Pausa. often... They okay. work closely, uh, Mr. What kind in the part of the speech? What kind of okay. word is it? Closely, this in is in the part of the speech. What kind of what kind of word is? Let it? me think. Yes, of course. Take your takes your time. Move are closely. It's a bear. It's an adjective. It's an adverb, it's a conjunction, it's a noun. Maybe it's, it's an adverb. It's yes, no, maybe 100% it is. Yes, it is. So when it said, mister, this is for you, okay? Because you, it's not just to read, right? It's just to discuss. When it said move are closely related to butterfly, what do you get about the first line? that those both of them has a relationship that mm -hmm. relation sorry but they are not the same okay and maybe they are like like uh equal could be yeah closely? it's in like comes like a, in a family line something like that okay so thank you mr continue yeah often because they are not they are not as beautiful while beautiful butterflies have big brightly colored wigs and Mo stop choose another student please of course let me see it's and say say it thank you are you ready to continue of course uh, uh, please from from here please while butterflies why were both why while butterfly have slightly colored when mud are usually one colors. Young mud are born as caterpillars. A, use like how would you like to describe that word? What is a caterpillar insect? Oh, I don't know. It is, it is an insect or not yet? Caterpillars, it is uh, an insect or not yet? Like, no, um, yes, but... Uh, maybe I think that is the el capullo de la. Yes, it, but try to describe it using in yeah, as an as an as a as a, it's a, a it's English a way. Box. <laughs> it's a box uh, to insect mm -hmm. or yes or branch. But yes. caterpillar, it is an insect or not yet. No, is is uh is the box when the mm -hmm. yes, it's the box um where is the insect so maybe it is ready to burn yeah. it is ready to burn right but it's not an insect now okay yeah. not yet okay continue okay use like butterflies um both insects have two sets of wings stop choose a student okay um gloria gloria continue there are many moths Okay, teacher. <clears throat> there are many moths and caterpillars in the world that are hot pests. They are always eating farmers' crops. Stop. Or... Could you please give us an example of crops? Um, corn. Okay, continue. Maybe no, maybe okay. no, maybe no. One hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, crops or destroying forests. For example, the caterpillar of the gypsy moth is and destroys. Do you remember what is a characteristic of gypsy moth? Uh, they are... This is the gypsy. Mm. Yeah. Take your time. Yes, take your time. Um, a characteristic are the color because this color is different <clears throat> to the mm -hmm. other moths. 
how would you like or how can you describe those ones? Um, and tennis. Uh huh. We have two antennas like the other, and mm -hmm. have a like white color maybe. Mm -hmm. And the, and last the question. other one is monochromatic. Color. Okay, so describe the picture, please, Miss, my okay. little princess. Describe all the we picture, have... not just the moth, all the picture. Okay, we have a <clears throat> a gypsy moth in. In, um, I don't know how to say, uh, this is trigo. Yes, it is. How do you say trigo? Five. Se los mando al chat. Four. Three. Nadie, nadie me ganó. Three, two. Ahí está. Wheat. Perdón, con wheat. H. Ahí se los mando. Okay, that is in a, in a wheat. That is in a wheat. No, wheat, right? Be careful. This is wheat. <laughs> wheat. Yeah, with, with T. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Because I already made a joke. So what is with? With D, not T. Ah, what is it? A kind of. A uh, kind of what? Uh -huh. exactly. okay, I'm not I'm not hallucination. Uh, okay, it's a kind. Hey, what is with, guys? It's, it's a kind of. Don't, don't say it in Spanish. Uh huh. What is with? Thank you, Mister. Kind of what? Well, maybe hallucination. Like, uh, how do you say hongos? <laughs> Mushrooms, yeah, like a mushrooms, okay, but specific no mushrooms, right? What, not all, not all. what kind of substance it is? Is it a mushroom? But yes, I got your idea. It's a drug, it's a, it's drug. a drug, yes, señores. Vocabulario, verdad? Los demás no solo se queden viendo, ten porfa, porfa. Por cierto, Sonia, no te escucha. Bueno, aquí está Sonia aquí. No, no la he escuchado toda la mañana. Hola, Sonia, buenos días. ¿Qué tal? Hola, hola, hello, hello. ¿Estás ahí? ¿Me escuchas? ¿Me oyes? ¿Me miras? No, porque no he activado la cámara. Sonia, ¿me avisas si estás ahí, hija? Eh, ma... No, Gloria, right? Yes, please, Gloria, continue. Yes. No, me yeah. te con todo aquí. Nombre, hija, para okay. que practiquemos. Continue. Huge. Let's see. Uh, Huge right, for, for example. First, for example, the caterpillar of the gypsy moth eats and destroys the forest in the north, north eastern United States. United, United. Uh, United States. Thank you, Princess. The, Choose a student. Okay. Um, I se me olvidó el nombre de él. Who? Uh, sorry, Anthony. Oh, yes, sorry, Mister. Sorry. Before you uh, continue tengo, with Anthony. Sorry, tengo que salir un momento. I'm here. Okay. Me voy a desconectar. <gasps> really? Teacher, Pero I'm ya, here. ya voy a regresar, es que es urgente. Okay, okay, Mister, please. Okay, go back. So thank you, thank you, Sonia. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Hi. No había podido contestar porque hay una construcción acá en mi casa. Ah, no, hombre, hija. No, cuando sea cosa de ruido, no se preocupen que yo ya no sienta ni pena ni, ni ni o mucho menos la voy a regañar porque obviamente cuando son clases virtuales de repente va a escuchar aquí también qué pasa el señor de la alpina, etcétera, etcétera. Okay, thank you, Sonia. So Anthony, please continue the gypsy moth. Okay. The Digimon is not native to this area, which means the humans brought it from somewhere, somewhere else. It was not meant to live there. That's why the Digimon eh, capture killers, eating habitant cause problems. Eating okay. up. Okay, there are more. There are more moths that eat fruit tree. And still other that destroy clothing and bl blankets. What is blankets? Do you have blankets in your house? Mister, thank you. What is blankets? Five. I, I don't know what it means. Blanket. You know what it means. Bl blankets. It's a uh, sabanas, cobijas, a los salvadoreños. Yeah, continue. It is on manta. Una manta. Sí, pero fíjate que en este caso también blanket es la sábana con las que nosotros nos cubrimos. Podría ser los blankets y digamos que hay como diferentes tipos de, pero mayormente se utiliza como para las sábanas, las cobijas, la chiva, dicen en Aguachapán. Ok. Ok, gracias. No, thank, thanks to you, princess. Yes, mister. Continue. The larva. Okay. The larva of some species. 
eat pee people's fabrics. They're particular like silk and wood. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop. Thank you okay. so much, mister. So, guys, I got I got a question. I'm sure you know what is LARP. Oh, do you have any idea what is LARP? Five, four, three. What is LARP? Like, um, it's like a caterpillar, but shorter. Yeah. Okay. But okay. not into the box. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you so much. Please, a volunteer who wants to continue, who wants to finish. It says like uh, aquí. Mothballs, yes, please. Volunteer five, four, three, two. Mothballs Thank you, Gloria. contain a chemical that kills both young and adult moths. Unfortunately, it was discovered that mothballs are not safe for human health either. They also have a strong um, unpleasant, 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 okay, unpleasant smell. Unpleasant smell. Okay, guys, I will give you 13, I will give you eight minutes. Ocho. A las diez con veinte, usted va a leer la lectura nuevamente, pero utilizando los sinónimos que usted ha buscado, que usted ha encontrado. Okay. So, usted va a leer la lectura like a moth, are closely related to butterfly, but they are not necessarily as often because they are not as. And remember, guys, I got a question before to start. What is the rule? Because there is a rule when you look for synonym. What is the rule when you are looking for synonym or a word? What is the rule? Five, four, three, two. I don't know, teacher. The word has to have a similar concept. And similar oh, structure. Mm -hmm. For example, excellent, thank you. Yes, if the word is an adverb, it can be replaced with a noun. Yes or no? Yes or no? It can be replaced with a noun. If the word that you are looking for is an adjective, it can be replaced for a, a conjunction, for example. Yes, it is. Or it's not possible. Five, four, three. Two. I think no, because change, maybe change the meaning of the, the, the reading. Exactly. So be careful. If you are looking for a synonym of beautiful, beautiful, we cannot use a conjunction. We cannot use a verb. We cannot use a contraction. We can. So you got it, guys. Yes, it is clear. Oh, I'm wasting my time. Yes, teacher, it is clear. Yes, teacher, It's you are wasting yes, your time. <laughs> ok, señores, vamos con ocho minutos. Prepárense para su lectura y a leer con sus sinónimos. I'm going to start, um, I don't know, if in order or volunteer. Um, en, bah, voy a comenzar con voluntarios. Ok, so, señores, ocho minutos.
Okay, my dears, I know you're ready, so I'm going to start as a volunteer. Please, who wants to start? Who wants to present? No one, nobody, yes. No one? My goodness, future professor. Nice. Yes, of course. So, Mariela, Mariela, may I continue uh, teaching with volunteers or, may, or individual or in order? Please, what do you prefer? Volunteers. Volunteers. <laughs> okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with volunteers. Thank you, Mariela. Please go ahead. Okay, and moths are closely related to butterflies, but they are not studied as often because they are not uh, attractive. While mm -hmm. butterflies have a uh, brilliantly colored wings, moths uh, are usually one color. Excuse me, in the case of brightly, what was your synonym? Brilliantly. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. Ah, okay, continue. Okay, and color with months are usually one color. Young months are born as caterpillars, just like butterflies, but insects have to pair of wings. Eh, stop. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Teacher, yo quería decir todo. Yes, vamos a hacer pico. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time, okay? And I really want to make all my students participate in this dynamic. Thank you, princess. Volunteer with the second part. Yes, who wants? Bye. Me, teacher. Thank you, Sadie. Go ahead. Okay. There are, there are many months or caterpillar in the world that are huge pests. I put on used uh nuisance <clears throat> they are always eating farmers uh but mm -hmm. or destroying forests for example the caterpillar of the gypsy but it's in uh rain the forest in the nor no northeastern united states the gypsy month is not native to this area, which means that human brought in from somewhere else. It was not meant to live there. That's why the gypsy mount caterpillars didn't have it cause <clears throat> worry. Okay, okay, thank you, Sadie. Yes, please, who wants to continue? Who wants to conclude? Five, four, three, two, Okay, my goodness. I got it. Thank you, Michael. Okay, and then I'm going to start as a big thing. Thank you, Michael. The third one, please. Okay, uh, is there another mod from there, right? Yes, the, the, the last part. There are other, yeah. There are other mods that eat fruits, trees, and still others that destroy clothing and blankets. Blanket. Uh, the larp of certain species eat people fabric. They particularly like silk and wool. One thing that people do to keep moths from their clothing is to use moth balls. Moth balls contain a, a element mm -hmm. that kills both young and adult moths. Unfortunately, sadly, it was a uh, discovered it was discovered that moth balls are not safe for humans health either they are also i didn't see the last one <laughs> unpleasant unpleasant let me look for 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 a synonym i forgot that one <laughs> unpleasant is when someone it was excuse me <laughs> well, well, well someone too but it with something a smell not in a good way because you say, my goodness, this is yuck, Blech. yuck, disgusting. Yeah, I don't like the smell, yuck. So, got it? So, horrible. Horrible, okay. Yeah, horrible smell. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Michael. So, as a big thing, oh, because I'm going to read it again, but I have time just for three more students. Let me see. Nancy, please. Go ahead with the first paragraph and then Sonia be ready with the second 
paragraph. And then let's see, Mr. Portillo, be ready with the third one. Okay, guys, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Moths are closely related to butterflies, but they are not studied as often because they are not as pretty while butterflies have a, sorry, um, blah, oh, joyfully, again, the, oh, oh, okay. joyfully, okay, okay. Um, Sorry, but eh, es que no, 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 como estoy trabajando desde el teléfono, no pude eh, ponerles las palabras. Entonces me toca buscar las que ya había okay. encontrado. Sorry. Okay, nice. um, no worries. Joyfully colored wings. Moths are usually one color. Young moths are born as caterpillar, just like butterfly. Both insects have two. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Uh, world, your world of wings. I'll read it again, the last part, please. Both insects have two. World of wings. Of wings, okay. I didn't get the, 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 the synonym. Please, would you like to send to my, to uh, our okay. Zoom chat? Okay. Because I didn't get it, okay. So let's see, Sonia, be ready with the second paragraph. Whole, okay, whole, okay, whole. Whole <laughs> okay. is like, uh, yes, whole, we, como jocote, vea. Whole is like, it's like a, it's like a huge, like a huge, like big, okay? So maybe it, it, it doesn't fit. Maybe just that, that word, okay? So thank you, okay, Nancy. Thank you. Sonia, please. The second part, of, and I'm gonna, I'm going to finish with Mr. Portillo. Thank you, Sonia. Go ahead. There are many. Sorry, my internet is bad. The second paragraph is a start. There are other moths that eat fruit. Uh, this, no, this one. There are, there are many moths and caterpillars. Okay. No worry. Okay, if you if you okay, okay, okay. nice. Yeah, your microphone is okay, on. Okay, I start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I start. There are many moths and caterpillars in the world that are how and Play and they are always eating farmers' uh, cultivation or destroying forests. For example, the caterpillar of the gypsy moths eat uh, demolish the forest in the north. North, I don't know, in the north, north eastern. There, Northeastern United States, there are gypsy monks in the native to this area, which means that human brought them from somewhere, some somewhere else. It was not me to live there. That's why the gypsy monks, caterpillars, eating habit cause um trouble. There are okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stop, stop. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, Portillo, please continue. I'm gonna conclude with you. Of course, there are other moons that eat fruit trees and still others that destroy clothing and blankets. The lard of certain species eat people's fabrics. They particularly, particularly like silk and wood. Once thin. What one thing that people do to keep moths from their clothing is to use moth balls. Moth balls contain 
a mm -hmm. substance that kills both young and adults most. Unluckily, unluckily, it was discovered. Sorry, unluckily, it was discovered that most balls are not safe for human health either. They they also have a strong nasty smell. Perfect. Thank you, Mister. Thanks to all of you guys. Okay, look at. Look at this case. This is my example of synonyms. This is my example of synonyms. So I'm going to read for you. Moths are closely related to butterflies, but they are not studied as often because they are not as gorgeous. While butterfly has glowing color with us, moths are usually one color. Both insects have two pairs of wings. There are many moths that can in caterpillars in the world that are huge plague. They are always in farmers so win or destroying forest. I heard some of you said cultivation. Yes, I like it, but this is this is very Spanish. Okay, this is like Spanish, but yes, it is. It is fixed. Yes, it is. But okay. So in order to continue crops, sowing cultivation. Okay. So but sowing is a new word for you. What is sowing? It's a synonym of crops. All the strain for it. For example, the caterpillar the, of the gypsy moth eats and damage the forest in the northeastern United States. The gypsy moth is non native to this area. Ahí se me fue el acento. Which, ahí, ahí igual también me comí la H, which means that human brought it from somewhere else. It wasn't meant to live there. That's why the gypsy moth caterpillar's eating habit caused complications. Another is troubles, troubles too. There are other moths that eat fruit trees and still others that destroy clothing and blanket. The large central spaces eat people fabrics. The particular like silk wool. One thing that people do to get one from the is chlorine is to use moth balls. Moth will contain toxic that kills both in young and other moths. Sadly, it was discovered that they're not a huge my healthy eater and they also have a strong disagree smell. Hay unos errores ahí de gramática. Bueno, no son errores de gramática. No sé por qué mi compu, eh, por ejemplo, en el caso de peoples, obviamente no lleva S. Y por ahí hay otra palabra. Igual cuando quiero poner oraciones en comparativo con la palabra dan, no sé por qué siempre se come la H. O sea, yo lo escribo y, y, y no sé por qué la H no me la está identificando. Yo creo que es algún error del teclado. Ah, no sé, algo así. Lo quiero, quiero pensar también que que quizás es por el idioma en cómo lo tengo. Ok, señores, I'm going to conclude the class with the first, with the four questions below. What would be the best title for the passage? But for this activity, well, excuse me, for this dynamic, I'm going to do it uh, in pairs. So I'm going to start with Alessandra Perla and Anthony. The dynamic is very simple. Alessandra, you are going to ask the four questions to Mr. Anthony, and then we are going to switch Anthony, you are going to ask the same questions to your partner. Alessandra, I'm going to start with you. Please go ahead. I ask the first one. The four ones to Mr. Anthony. Okay. Um, Mr. Anthony, what will be the best title for the passage? Passage. Passage, sorry. Okay. I consider it could be something like a uh, good title uh, for me. Uh, some, the title would be uh, something about the mall. Okay, number two. And what is the author opinion about mall? It's just uh, uh, from his own opinion. What is the position of the mall in the natural? in the natural environment okay. and also who are thick for the humans and number three what is the use of the most both okay if i'm not mistaken in the paragraph mention that is used for i don't know if i bought but i remember mentioning something with uh wool and also have a chemical this dangerous for the young and the old month and also the you the people and number four what kind of reading is it 
maybe like a blog, an informal tea blog. Okay, now we are gonna switch, mister. Oh, uh, the same person. Yes, because it's in pairs. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. okay uh, tell me, what would be the best title for this question? Mm, maybe mm, the mold, something like that, because it's about it. No, but you just, just give us the title. The mold. Okay. Okay. Okay, and number two, what is the author opinion about mold? I'm not sure um, because um, it's about um, compare uh, with the butterflies and well, uh, it's related to butterflies and, and, and the monks. Okay, okay, but be, be, be careful, guys. Okay, hey, miren. Eso es para todos. Eso es para todo. No lo digo por Anthony, no lo digo por Alessandra. En la primera pregunta, cuando en este caso le pide cuál es el mejor título, ustedes conmigo hicieron, pues, hicieron prueba de TOEFL en la parte de reading el ciclo pasado. ¿Ustedes creen que en la parte de reading les va a salir el tema como de MOF? Si usted se ha fijado, siempre los temas son bien largos. Practiquemos, no me haga esto, esto no es una clase más de gramática. Señores, les voy a contar un chambre, porque no puedo continuar. O sea, yo necesito que nos pongamos las pilas, que, que le metamos turbo a esto. La gente que se graduó el año pasado, dejaron el TOEFL. No, me expresé mal. La gente que se iba a graduar el año pasado, dejaron el TOEFL. Menos mal que yo a ellos no les di clases. Yo no quiero que en un par de meses, de años, me estén diciendo que ustedes me han dejado el tope. Señores, no perdamos el tiempo en el aspecto que si usted está estudiando esta carrera, trate de meterle más. O sea, ¿no? cuando, cuando, por ejemplo, y no lo digo por Anthony, por, 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 por Alessandra, no, 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 no. O sea, obviamente aquí somos una familia y estamos en confianza y las familias, las familias se ayudan, las familias eh, cooperan entre sí para que todos trabajemos y lleguemos a un objetivo. En el caso de la pregunta 2, cuando dice, what's the authors? Yo no le estoy preguntando su opinión. Hábleme en tercera persona. ¿Cuál es la opinión del autor? No la suya. ¿Ok? Hábleme primero en tercera persona. Y segundo, quitémonos la maña y la costumbre de decir, no estoy seguro, no estoy segura. Usted diga las cosas como usted cree, cree que es. Y obviamente, si usted lo ha dicho tal vez de una forma incorrecta, yo lo voy y la voy a corregir. Pero por favor, ya quítense eso de, no estoy segura. Yo sé que ustedes lo hacen como por, por disculparse desde un pre. Pero si se fijan, las, quiero ver, sí, las cuatro veces que me han dicho aquí, no estoy seguro. Bueno, de hecho, la, de hecho fueron tres veces y me, me, lo, me lo dijeron las, solo señoritas. No estoy segura, pero las tres veces que las, las señoritas me lo dijeron, las tres veces estuvieron correctas. Ok, yo sé que usted se siente cómodo de decir, I'm not sure, yo sé. Usted ni siquiera lo hace por, creo que por disculparse. Lo hace más que todo porque, por sentirse bien con usted mismo, como, pues si se me equivoco, pues, no hombre, no se preocupe. Ok, entonces, no quiero que esto sea una clase más de gramática, señores. El, la gente del ciclo pasado, de la carrera, de, de, de la promoción pasada, dejaron el tofe. Y no se han podido graduar por eso. Así que cuando este, este tipo de preguntas, primero que nada, trate de dar un poquito más. Segundo, en la pregunta dos, habla en tercera persona. No le estoy pidiendo su opinión, porque en el TOEFL no le van a pedir su opinión. Le van a pedir la opinión de la persona que escribió ese artículo. Ok. So, thank you. Anthony, question four, uh, three, right? Thank you. Uh, yes. Ok. Nice. What is the use of the mouth balls? Honestly, I don't remember what is most ball. Okay, so number four. Okay, what kind of reading is this? For me, it's uh, informative. Okay, 
So thank you so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with Claudia and Gloria. The same dynamic as your partners already done. So Claudia, please, the four questions to Gloria, and then we are going to switch. Metamos el turbo para que pasemos todos. Okay, teacher. Okay, I first. Okay. Yeah, you first. Okay, what would be the best title? Title, title? For, title for the passage. Um, moths and why are dangerous? Okay, okay. number two. What is the author's opinion about the moths? Okay, according to the author's opinions, are not good for forest crops and human clothes. Three. Okay, what is the use of the moth ball? Moth ball? Okay, people use the moth balls to keep moth from their clothes. Four. Okay. Uh, what is kill of the reading is? It, what kind? Uh, what kind of the reading is? It's an informative reading. Okay, switch, continue. Okay, what will be the best title for the passage? Uh, 75 reach uh, between butterfly and mom. Okay. What is the other's opinion about moths? Moths. Okay. Um. I remember he says the moths are uh, related to butterflies, but mm -hmm. they are not the study because they are not a, a beautiful. In compare other butterflies that have the pretty colors. Okay. And what is the use of the moth bulbs? Uh, the monthai. I remember he uh, the mon monthai uh held to the moth moth balls moth balls. They held the color the butterflies. I don't know. Okay, okay, this is wrong, but okay. Number four. What kind of reading is it? Uh, for me, it's a uh, certified research. Okay, Claudia, tú tienes muy buen análisis. Fíjate. Cuando es cuestión de preguntas, veo que te defiendes mejor, porque yo sé que lo has escrito. Veo que te defiendes mejor en la escritura que en el speaking. Entonces, en tu caso está fácil. Lo que tenés que hacer es leer, 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 leer más. Porque eh, buen análisis tenés. Lo que tenemos que mejorar es la parte de la fluidez y de la gramática al momento de estructurar oraciones. ¿Ok? Eso me he okay. fijado. In my case, when I uh, say... En español, cuando se da alguna pregunta o I read the, the pattern, mm -hmm. I remember the specific word. Ajá. Tenés esa habilidad de recordar, de recordar detalles, a excepción de la 3, de recordar detalles. Y eso lo, 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 lo he podido hacer. Cuando te hice la, eh, que me dijeras que, de qué trataba la lectura, lo hiciste muy bien también. Entonces, es muy probable que en la parte del TOEFL nos vaya bien. Es muy probable, Claudia, porque tenés esa buena retentiva, pero te puede afectar la parte de gramática, ¿ok? okay Así okay. es que hay, que hay que hay que explotar esa parte porque hay mucha gente que sale muy bien en reading, pero dejan el TOEFL por gramática, o salen muy bien en gramática, pero lo dejan por listening. Señores, ustedes saben que, en que, cuál es su área fuerte. Ahora lo que, menos mal que no le va a medir el speaking, el TOEFL no mide speaking, menos mal, pero tenemos esa ventaja contigo, Claudia, que no te va a medir el speaking, pero speaking es grammar, grammar is speaking, ok, so, ya, ya sabes a partir de ahora qué es lo que tenés que explotar, ok, so, me quedan cuatro minutos, as a volunteer, who wants to participate in that dynamic, please, Michael, thank you, and me. I need a second, thank you, Mr. Okay, so Sigara and Michael. Michael, I'm going to start with you. Please ask the four questions to your partner. Okay, what will be the best title for this passage? Maybe for me, it's most destroyer of crops and bad for nature. <laughs> Sounds nice. What is the author's opinions about moth? Uh, he said that moths are very bad for the nature because destroy every every forest and eat all crops for farmers so are bad yeah that's what i'm talking about if the question is in third person 
You must answer in third person. Continue. What is the use of mothballs? Uh, uh, mothballs are used to kill young and adult moths. Okay, four. What kind of reading is it? Maybe it's an informal uh, reading. Perfect. Yeah, I think the same. Okay, now, now my gentlemen, switch. Okay, uh, Michael, what will be the best title for the passage? The Winch Enemy of Farmers. Oh, yes. Uh, what is the author's opinion about moths? He describes moths as vast insects who destroys everything. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the use of moth balls? Are used to exterminate pets, but is a problem for humans. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Luis, muy bien. Excelente, muy bien. Ahora. Michael, muy bien, 9.9, teacher, ¿por qué no me da el 10? Michael, algo que he observado en ti, que sos tan, tan bueno al contestar, te emocionás, que te equivocas con algunas palabras al leerlas. ¿Te has fijado? Sí, que, soy. Detallitos, que lees, lees y pensé, o sea, te equivocaste en como, por ejemplo, en la, en la primera dinámica que hicimos del Gibea, y en este caso era, creo que él, ni me acuerdo cómo era, la, era él, él, algo así. Entonces yo creo, o sea, esa confusión de, 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 de algunas palabras, Es lo único, ¿ok? Es lo único de ahí, señores. Sigamos trabajando, sigamos trabajando en este caso eh, en esa he, que yo creo que yo la puse en inglés también, si no me equivoco, y creo que en vez de ponerla en español yo la puse. Tenemos ese detalle, ¿ok? A mí a veces es me la dislexia y la dislalia. Ajá. A mí a veces me pasa. Últimamente me está pasando que no me acuerdo ni cómo se dice en español ni cómo se dice en inglés, pero son detalles que debemos de trabajar, señores. No quiero que pasemos ese tope. Ok, chicos, me quedo hasta acá. O le damos un par de minutos más por si alguien quería participar en la dinámica, me dejan saber o terminamos acá, porfa. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Okay. Can I participate? Yes, of course. So, Mariela, I need, okay, who wants to participate with Mariela? <laughs> Say it, perfect. Okay, ladies, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to finish the class with your amazing <clears throat> participation. Mariela, please ask the four questions to Say it. Okay. What will be the best title for the passage? Um, maybe the life of the month. Some people are afraid of them. Okay. What is the, our opinion about months? <clears throat> Sorry. He mentioned that the months are re relate to butterfly, but so uh, uh, there are some difference. Wow. Uh, in the United States, don't like it because destroy the pharmacy and crops. Three. Okay. <clears throat> what is the use of the mothballs? Uh, contain toxic and affect both young and adult month. Okay. And what kind of reading is it? Mm, maybe the natural doc documental uh, or scientific. Okay, now we're gonna switch, ladies. Okay, I love. <clears throat> what will be the best? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no <Sorry>. worries. <laughs> what will be the best title? Teacher, what will be the best title? The yes, title for the passage. Um. The reality and description of the month. Okay. Uh, what is the author's opinion about months? Uh, he expressed that are a huge pets, and he did a bit uh, comparison between the butterflies and that the United States hate the months. Yes. Okay. Right. What is the use of the mud balls? Um. Contain a chemical that kills. Yes. Uh, and what kind of reading it, it is? <clears throat> what kind of reading is it? It is a documental uh, reading. Okay, good. Yes. Like it. Okay. Informative and documentary. Okay, guys, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you in my class. So please. I'm going to start the didactic class with your amazing oral presentation, but what time is it? 10.51? A las 
a las 5 de un cuarto, teacher. A las 10 con 53, a las 10 con 50, a las 11 mejor. Sí, le voy a dar unos, le voy a dar 7 minutos eh, de receso en lo que se prepara. A las 11 en punto, inicio con la clase de, con sus presentaciones en didáctica, señores. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher.